So with all of the excitement from Five Nights at Freddy's World on ScottGames.com, we've really placed the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 Halloween update to the back of our minds. Yes, it appears there is more than meets the eye with what Scott is trying to tell us. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here. And this is other Ryan here. And today we once again have another video for you all and this one is going to be talking about the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 Halloween update because it appears as of late that Scott has gotten extremely active on Steam and he is actually revealing potentially some new characters for Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Yeah, as Ryan said at the start of the video, I think we're so focused on Scott Games and this whole FNAF world and this new game that we've completely forgotten about the DLC. It's almost like we've put it to the back of our minds because it doesn't feel like it's going to be anything big, but it feels like Scott's yeah. going to add something pretty awesome to this. Yeah, absolutely. And this is actually coming from one of the posts that a fan made of the Five Nights at Freddy's series and just all of Scott's games in general. And he pretty much asked him at the end of the post to bring Balloon Boy back as everyone would love to see him in Five Nights at Freddy's 4. And in reply to this, Scott actually said you might just get your wish. And this is where things start to get really interesting because we have to remember a post that Scott made not too long ago hinting to a popular minigame being updated. Yeah, we've actually said in the past that Balloon Boy might be added to this little plush trap minigame because if you think yes. about this minigame, we have to use a flashlight in order to catch plush trap and it would be good if Balloon Boy was there to prevent you from using your flashlight and then plush trap actually scares you. Yeah, I mean it's interesting and I think the community is going to start thinking now about how Balloon Boy could actually be incorporated within this because you know, as you've said, it's the flashlight and that's one of the key components again towards the five Nights at Freddy's 2 Balloon Boy, and seeing him in Five Nights at Freddy's 4, especially in this minigame environment, the mechanics are really quite similar, so yeah. it does kind of make sense why he would actually be bringing Balloon Boy of all characters back. Yeah, it would definitely make the level a lot more challenging. Once you got used to the plush trap game, you kind of got a feel for it and how it's meant to go, but obviously with this new character added in, it would make your life a living hell. Absolutely, and I mean, for all we know, Scott could actually update this minigame a little bit as well, so maybe even plays a little bit different, because, I don't know, I think one thing which has really been making me think maybe there might be some smaller minigame, maybe slightly different than the fun with Plush Trap one. It's actually the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 minigames where we play as this Balloon Boy character. Yeah, and as we've said in previous theories, this house could actually represent the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 house, so who's to say that Balloon Boy isn't already in this house that we play in? Exactly, I mean, it seems a bit too coincidental now that we think back to it, and you know, these little minigames in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, we've always said they must acquaint towards something, so yeah. you know, it just seems a little bit ironic that maybe this Balloon Boy character is actually situated in a house already. It's just a total contrast from, of course, seeing him in the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 establishment, and I think another thing we got to think about, too, is the fact that he actually goes from one house-like environment to another one, so maybe that could be him actually getting into the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 house, or maybe he starts in there. Who really knows at the moment? I mean, it could be a representation of either him staying in the house and going back to the establishment, or staying in the establishment and going back to the house like we do in the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 minigame. Absolutely. I mean, once again, guys, this is just a speculation, but but I, I don't know, it almost feels like this is a bit too coincidental for it not yeah. to mean anything. And, you know, with the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 minigames the way they are, I think this definitely might signify an actual connection with this actual new character being introduced in the Halloween update for Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Yeah, definitely. So there we have it, guys. That was, of course, another video talking about the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 Halloween update, where there might potentially be a Balloon Boy character added in nightmare form towards the game. Hopefully you did enjoy this video, and be sure to comment down below any of your thoughts in relation to the Halloween update for Five Nights at Freddy's 4. And if you guys did enjoy this video, why not leave a like rating down below? And if you're new to our channel, why not subscribe for more interesting videos like this and also the gameplays? So thank you very much for watching the video, guys. We do hope you did enjoy and will, of course, see you on the next one. Goodbye, guys. Want to see even more content from us? Consider liking and subscribing to ensure you'll see all content in the foreseeable future. And hey, why not check out our past two videos?